Hello everyone, welcome back to my laboratory. My name is Virtualville and today I am reviewing two Wowie robots. That's right, and these are actually pretty old models in my opinion. I got these, well, actually this one right here, this yellow one is mine, and this one is Viper for Life's, or Cody's. We got these in 2011, so they're not that new because it's 2016, but I was going to review them anyway. So they don't do too much, but they're still really fun, and we had a blast. So, this one right here, if you press this button, it opens its claws. There's no way to make him do this on his own. It's all manual. You can move his arm. If I turn him around here, he has these little levers right here that help his arms move. So I just do this, and you can move his arms to different positions. So there you go. And the button's also on the bottom for this one. But you can also turn his hand around. And I mean, like, you can really turn it around. It's pretty good. So now, as you can see, he does have eyes. That's blurry. Sorry. But if you turn him on, he has wheels on the bottom of his feet, by the way. He starts moving. And all he does is walk forward. There's no remote. He doesn't do too much. But like I said, it's still great, especially for young kids. His eyes are red. And hang on, I need to turn them on. <laughs> there we go. And you can also move his head. Not too much to move his head around. There's only so much he can move his head, but it's still good. You can't lower this, sadly. No, you can't you can't lower it. Okay. So I actually I'm actually not sure what that one was called, but it is made by Wowie Robots. So this one. I don't know if this one's called yet, I'm so sorry. But this one, he's, well, you can move his arms as well. So you can move it up, down, and I believe you can change his hand positions? No, you cannot, okay. But however, you can turn his head. A certain way, of course, you can't turn it like a, an owl. So there we go. Now, all he does all is, as well, is he goes straight forward. Now, he has a little wheel on the bottom here. Let's get that in focus on the bottom. So he won't just make treads all over the floor. So he has a little wheel to help him. He, he can also go forward this way or just the actual way. And you can't move that, okay. And let's see, the batteries, I believe it's two AA batteries. And this one over here, I think is the same. If it's not, I'll make sure to put a little link on screen or a image or text about how much these actually take. But let's go ahead and turn him on. He's gonna try to go forward, so I need to pick him up. And like I said, I got these in 2011. I'm still impressed that the batteries still work. They're probably faster, but his eyes, woo. His eyes glow green, as you can see. And he is actually my personal favorite because he looks humanoid, he looks really cool. And he does this if he's not on the right way. The wheel actually helps him go across the floor. See? It's just better for him this way. It doesn't work too well for him. He just kind of dances. So I guess if you want him to dance like that, you could do it that way. But let's turn him off before he damages himself. I'm having troubles. It. There we go. Got it. <laughs> now, with all motorized toys or anything that has wheels or like a motor, you need to make sure you don't do this on the carpet. Notice how this is a hardwood floor I'm doing this on. It's all hardwood. There's no carpet or anything. So do not do it on carpet. Right there's carpet. That's a no-no. You don't do it on carpet. You will damage the motor and he will be unable to move. He just won't the wheels will not go. That's not just for him, it's for him too, because he also has wheels or motors on the bottom of his feet. So they will actually take up hair from the carpet or just the carpet itself, not tear up the carpet, but you know. So I wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, these were actually really fun. We had a lot of fun playing with these in 2011. And I just really like robots, if you guys didn't know. I really love robots. And I think these might have been the first robots I ever received. Anytime it was my birthday or it was Christmas, mostly Christmas, I would ask for a robot. Some form of robot. 
So there's that. And there will be a video talking about robots I had. I don't have any more, but there will be that video. But yeah, I thought these were just kind of cool, and I want you guys to see a, a piece or a robot part of my childhood that has influenced, <laughs> influenced me somewhat for robots. So yes, thank you all for watching. There will be a link to each of them on the Wow Wow We Robot Ro website. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> if it's if it's still up, of course. And if not, I'll provide a link somewhere and more information about them and where you can buy these. I believe you could probably get them at either Walmart or Target. Target is actually a better place for these, I would think. Toys R Us will probably have these also. I'm not sure because, like I said, these are actually really old. I don't even know if they still make them, but you have to find that out for yourselves. So thank you all for watching. Watching? Wow. Watching. Make sure you check out the description for the links and also to follow me on everything else. Make sure you like, comment, share my videos. It helps me a lot. And subscribe if you're new for more science stuff. More science stuff. So thank you all for watching and I will swoops. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Richard Bell, logging out.